Hello friends, a warm greetings to you and welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I thank you for taking your valuable time and interest in watching this laboratory based video. To begin with, in this video, I'll be demonstrating to you the standard procedures followed for laboratory determination of soil textures using hydrometer methods and soil triangle diagram or soil texture diagram. So first, let's see what is the soil texture. Soil texture is a, the relative proportion of different soil particles. That is the sand, silt, and clay. In simple term, say you have a soil samples, and in that samples, you want to determine what's the proportions of sand, silt, or clay. And this is referred to as the soil texture. Soil texture is one of the most important soil physical properties and is also one of the most important parameters used for soil analysis. Soil textures can be determined by different methods. Some of the most common methods of determination of soil texture are the field methods or the rubbing methods, the international pipette methods, the hydrometer method and other more. However, in this video, we will be analyzing the soil texture adopting the hydrometer method. Hydrometer method of estimation of soil texture is quite rapid comparing to the other method. And to determine the soil texture of any soil samples, two different stages are involved. First, we have to evaluate the percentage of sand, silt, and clay by adopting the hydrometer method. And then after determining the percentage of sand, silt, and clay, the second stage would be we have to determine the soil texture by using the soil triangular diagram or the soil texture diagram. And based on that diagram, we'll be able to classify or which texture class does the soil sample analyze belongs to. To conduct this soil practical experiment. First, let's see what are the different laboratory materials or instruments or glassware required for soil texture analysis. First thing first, you need a soil dispersing reagent, which is a sodium hexamethaphosphate or a trade name known as Calgon. You need an air dried soil samples at two MMCs, a soil hydrometer, a thermometer, a 100 ml beaker, a 500 ml volumetric flask, a 500 ml conical flask, 500 ml measuring cylinder, 1000 ml measuring cylinder, 1000 ml beaker a distilled water and a magnetic stirrer. Now, let's first do the laboratory analysis for determining the percentage of sand, cell, and clay adopting the hydrometer method. So first of all, we need to do is preparation of the soil dispersing reagent called Calgon. So for preparation of Calgon, first, Weigh 25 gram of calgon in a 100 ml beaker. And fill the 500 ml volumetric flask with distilled water. Then use a 500 ml conical flask. Then transfer the calgon into the conical flask. Next, dilute the calgon with these 500 ml distilled water. Shake it for the reagent to dissolve.
use magnetic stirrer to dissolve the reagent and now we have a calgon reagent which is ready for texture analysis remember that before you start texture analysis first you have to check the ph of the reagent in case if the ph of the reagent is not 9 ph 9 then remember you have to add sodium carbonate in order to make the ph of calgon reagent to 9 next is measurement of the soil samples now weight 50 grams of the air dried soil samples which has been passed through a 2 mm sieve this is the 50 gram soil samples now 50 gram of soil samples and the calgon reagent are ready let's follow the procedures for estimation of soil texture using hydrometer method. First step is empty the 50 gram soil samples into a 1000 ml beaker. Then add 25 ml of prepared Calgon reagent into the 50 grams soil samples in a 1000 ml beaker. Then add 400 ml of tap water into the beaker containing the soil and the calgon reagent. Next, disperse the soil by shaking or stirring for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then transfer the soil mixture into the 1000 ml measuring cylinder and fill the cylinder with water. Now the cylinder is filled with water up to the mark. Next, stir the soil solution for few minutes using a glass rod. After this, you have to take the reading. So now for taking the readings, you have to use the hydrometer. So you have to take two readings. The first reading will be is after four minutes, 48 seconds after stirring. And make sure for calculation purpose, that reading that you obtain will be coded as D. And the second reading will be taken after five hours of suspension of this soil solution. And let that reading be recorded as A since this will be used for calculation purpose later on. However, there are a few points to remember. For point number one is hydrometer should be immersed into the soil suspension 20 seconds before taking the reading. The temperature should be recorded after taking the reading. So now let's take the start taking the hydrometer reading. First dip the hydrometer in the soil solution It should be immersed 20 seconds before the first reading. Record the hydrometer reading after 4 minutes 48 seconds. You can mark the hydrometer scale for easy reading later on. You can take out the hydrometer out and record the mark on its scale as B. So the value obtained from the scale of a hydrometer will be recorded as B. 
whatever the value may be. Then immediately, you also have to record the temperature of the source solution. So similarly, the second reading will be after five hours. Repeat the same procedure and record the second reading now as A, coded as A. After five hours, again, immerse or dip the hydrometer into the source solution. And this time record the second reading as A. Again, mark it for easy reading when you take it out because the soil is murky, so it's quite difficult to read. And then again, record the temperature of the soil solution for the second reading. Now, once you have completed with this, the laboratory analysis stage for stage number one is completed. Now, the next stage will be the calculation of the soil texture based on the readings obtained from the hydrometer. We will determine the percentage of clay, the percentage of silt, and the percentage of sand. Let's use the Excel sheet to do the calculation of soil texture. So calculation of soil texture, that is to determine the proportions of sand, silt, and clay. So in this demonstration, we use the air-dried soil samples. In that air-dried soil sample use, the moisture content of the soil solution will assume to be zero because we have air-dried the soil for months. In case if I use a fresh soil samples, then you have to oven-dry it and you have to measure the moisture and later on will be used in the calculation part. So let the hydrometer reading and temperature recorded are as follows. So let's say the soil sample we analyzed for this demonstration. At the time, as already mentioned earlier, recorded for hydrometer reading are after four minutes, 48 seconds. And the another reading was after five hours. So the code for the first reading was P and the code for the second reading was A. And the hydrometer reading and the temperature reading obtained are the first hydrometer reading was obtained was six and the temperature reading was 23.8 degrees centigrade and the hydrometer reading obtained after five hours is 1.5 and the temperature is 23.2 so now based on these reading we will calculate the percentage of clay, silt plus clay percentage, silt percentage, and sand percentage. But before that, we, we always recorded the temperature of the soil solution after every reading. So what are they for? The purpose is to do the correction for the hydrometer readings. For calculation purposes, if the recorded temperature of the soil solution is, is greater than 19.5 degrees centigrade or less than 19.5 degrees centigrade, then we have to add 0.3 unit to each of the readings. So how do we do this? So what we have to do is, as per the standards, our temperature we obtain is 23.8 and 23.2. The temperature is higher than the given value which is 19.5 so since it's high how many times it's higher let's say 19.5 is desirable but we all value is 23.8 round so one two three and four so all temperature is between these four so which means that we have to do is four into 0.3 is equal to 1.2, which means we should add 1.2 units to each of the hydrometer readings. So the corrected hydrometer reading will be equal to 6 is the reading we obtained from the plus 1.2, the temperature change. That will be your B value is 7.2. Similarly, 2.7 will be your A values. So from here, the reading that will be used for calculation is not 6, but it will be 7.2.
And for A, it will be not 1.5, but it will be 2.7. So let's find out the clay percentage. Clay percentage will be equal sign A. What's the A reading? A is 2.7 into, into 100 divided by 50. 50 minus moisture content. So our moisture content, as we already assume that it is assumed to be zero. So we will not add any value here. Minus this minus one according to the formula minus one. So your clay percentage is 4.4 percent. Now we'll do the calculation for cell plus clay percentage. So you have to put here is B, B value equals to what's the B value? B value is 10.2 into 100 into 100 divided by 50 minus once you contain zero, 50 only, then minus one. So your cell and clay percent is 13.4%. So from here, we'll obtain the cell percentage. So what's the cell percentage is? Cell plus clay percent minus clay percentage. So from here, you already obtain those two. You just have to do is cell plus clay is this one, 13.4 minus clay percent. Clay is 4.4%, so which will be nine, all right? So now after that, last we'll calculate the sand percentage. So sand percentage 100 minus cell plus clay percentage. So here, again, just have to put equal sand. 100 minus C plus clay, which is this value. And 86.6% is your sand percentage. Through the hydrometer readings, we obtain the percentage of sand, silk, and clay. So with this, we have completed the first stage. So from here, We'll move on to the next part, which is the second stage, which is the determination of the texture classes of the soil samples using soil texture diagram. So this is the soil texture diagram. From this diagram, we will be able to determine exactly which texture class does the soil sample analyze belongs to. So based on the calculation carried out, in the Excel sheet and the percentage obtained are as mentioned earlier and as given on the screen. So the next stage is what we are going to do now is to determine which soil texture classes does this with this percentage belongs to. So to determine the texture classes of the soil sample analyzed. So first, based on the data obtained, we found that the clay percentage 4.4%. In this diagram, the person of clay is on the left-hand side and it moves in this direction. So you see that the values are 10, 20, 30, up to 100. So as per the calculation, the clay percent is 4.4%. The value 4.4 be somewhere here. Okay. So in which direction should the line be? In this in, in the sand direction or in the silt direction? It should be parallel to the sand. So you can see this line here, right? It's going straight. So I have to draw a line somewhere here. So this will be your line, the first line where you get the clay percent. Next is the silk. From the calculation, we found that the silk percentage is nine. So silk is here, right? On the right hand side. So the values are going from this direction, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, up to 100. So 9 will be where? It will be somewhere here, right? So which side should I guess? It should go. See that 10, this line is going this direction, right? Towards the sand. Okay. So the line should be parallel to that of the clay. So if I draw a line, it will be somewhere here, 9. So you see, 9. See that the point of intersection somewhere here, right? Okay. So we have obtained, we have drawn the line for cell and clay. Next is the sand. So sand value is 86.6%. So you see that sand is in this direction. 
So 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 90, 100. See that the sand was stationed was in this direction. So the value of sand is 86. So 86.6% is 10, 20, 40, 80, and 86 will be somewhere here. If 85 is here, 86 will be somewhere here, right? Okay. So now this line you have to draw it against the clay percent. So if I draw a line here, roughly, it will be somewhere here. Okay. So you see that in these, the line of intersection between these two lines is somewhere here, the dark spot. You can see. So from here, you'll be able to determine which texture class does this soil samples belong to. So from here, we found that the point of intersection of the three lines is in the loamy sand. See, in this loamy sand section. So based on that, we can conclude that the soil samples that we analyze are having this particular percentage of sand silver and clay belongs to the texture class called loamy sand. Okay. So similarly, in case, just for example, in case if your point of direction of the tree line is somewhere here, in this area will be coming clay. The form in this is be clay loam, if clay here, whatever maybe you we'll get the soil texture. Okay. So this is how you would be able to determine the soil texture following these two steps. So with this, we have come to an end of this video. The reference used for this uh, video is from Alan the standard prescribed book for soil analysis. So with this, I hope and believe that you have understood the process of carrying out this soil texture analysis using the hydrometer method and the soil texture diagram. And I hope this video will be of great help to students from right from undergraduate, postgraduate, and maybe so some researcher as well. So with that, Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you find this video helpful, please share, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you and God bless.